integration by parts part one. Integration by parts can be thought of as the anti-differentiation equivalent of the product rule. So recall from Calc AB, whenever you had two functions being multiplied together, let's say u and v, and you wanted to take the derivative of that, the formula called the product rule was just u prime v plus u v prime, or some equivalent of that. So now, if we want to find a formula to integrate two functions being multiplied together, basically we take this product rule formula for a differentiation and solve for this uv prime term to get the formula u dv equals uv minus the integral v du. And as I said, the derivation for this formula is they just took product rule and solved for uv prime. So this is our integration by parts formula. Memorize it because you're going to have to use it a lot. So now that we know what the formula is, how do we use it? Well, the easiest way to do that is just to take a problem. So the formula, let's just write it again, u dv equals uv minus the integral v du. This is our basic formula. So let's say that we have a problem, um, the integral of x times e to the x dx. This is a problem where you would need to use integration by parts because your other in integration techniques like u sub don't work for this problem. So the way you use the integration by parts formula you pick a u and you pick a dv. So the way most teachers teach this is they write the u, the du, and then up here dv and v. So you're going from u to du. So for your u, you pick something in here that's easily differentiated. So, well this problem doesn't really matter, but let's just say you pick x then your du would just be the derivative of x, which is 1 dx. And then whatever you didn't pick as your u, whatever's left over, in other words, becomes your dv, which in this case is e to the x dx. So now to go from dv to v, you just integrate dv. The integral of e to the x dx is just e to the x. So now that you have your u and your dv figured out, you just plug into this formula. So the integral of u dv, that's x times e to the x equals uv, that's u times v, x e to the x minus the integral v du, which is e to the x dx. Okay, so this side is just basically what you started with, and then this part right here is what you got from plugging into the integration by parts formula. So, oh, sorry, this should be a dx here. 
Okay, so now we just simplify this part of the formula. So this equals x e to the x minus the integral e to the x dx. The integral of e to the x dx is just e to the x. So then you just factor out e to the x. So you get x minus 1 times e to the x. So that's basically what that integral equals. And this is how you do a basic integration by parts problem. If you don't get it, we're going to do more examples. So just wait for